Exodus chapter 20 has to be one of the most well-known chapters, not only in this book, the book of Exodus, but perhaps this section of scripture, the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Bible. Because in this chapter, we see the law is given, the Ten Commandments. Now, the Ten Commandments, the law in general, we know from the entirety of Scripture, are given to us for multiple reasons. But let me just share a few of them with you. The Ten Commandments are given as a, as a guardrail for you and I to keep humanity on a path that's glorifying to God and good for others. It's also a glimpse into the standard of God and shows our great need for a Savior. But it's also a guide to show us how to live morally. You see, the law is given as a glimpse, as a guide, as a guard. And this morning, I would like to read to you from God's Word the Ten Commandments that are given here on Mount Sinai with Moses from God's Word. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2, God says, I am the Lord your God who rescued you from the land of Egypt, the place of your slavery. And here's commandment number one. You must not have any other God before me. Number two, you must not make for yourself an idol of any kind. Number three, you must not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Four, remember to observe the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Five, honor your mother and father. Six, you must not murder. Seven, you must not commit adultery. Eight, you must not steal. Nine, you must not testify falsely against your neighbor. And 10, you must not covet your neighbor's house, your neighbor's wife, anything or everything don't covet. You see, these commandments are given to us as a guide, as a guard, as a glimpse into the heart of God and the reality that we need a savior, Jesus Christ, to be that one who fulfills these commandments perfectly. The 10 commandments give us a glimpse into our own heart and our own great need of a savior. And they also give us a guide, a way to live for the good of others and for God's glory and as a guard to stay on a moral healthy path. So this morning, as you read the 10 commandments, why don't I give you a challenge? See if you can memorize these 10 commandments and see if you can discern if there are four that talk about our relationship with God and six that talk about our relationship with others. Because truly, as we live in right relationship with God in right relationship with others, we're fulfilling the law, the law of love, to love God and to love others.